um, you must be delighted with the point and the spirit shown by your players. Yeah, pleased. Um, pleased for the players that you know, the effort they put in, they get a reward for it because sometimes you don't. Um, you know, first half, you know, we're lucky to still be in it, to be honest. Um, you know, City could have blown us away through that period. Um, certainly had enough chances to do so and we had no sort of real conviction and belief in what we were doing, um, giving the ball away a lot. But we hung in there, I guess. Um, it's similar to us last week, we missed a lot of chances and you know, sometimes in football you give the opposition a chance. And, you know, we had to sort of just calm down at half time and I thought the, the effort the boys put in the second half was outstanding just because again, it's very easy to, to get blown away at this arena against the, such a great team. Um, but we hung in there, we made it uncomfortable for City, I thought, the whole second half and you know, they never really got you know, total control of the game and it's a key to sort of trying to get something out of it. And, Scored three quality goals, um, which again you have to against a team like that. So, like I said, pleased for the players that the effort they put in the second half, um, they get a reward for. Excuse me, Charlie. You made that change, as you say, at half time. Do you think that did make a big difference to the pattern of the game, or was that just one of many factors? Uh, I think it's, it, it helped. Uh, you know, I thought Pierre was, was excellent in the second half. You know, obviously, you know, his experience um, out there, and I just thought we had a just as a group in general, though, I thought we had a lot more conviction about our football, just passing it and not second-guessing ourselves, not being hesitant with our passes. It's just in the first half, we just... And look, you know, I'm on the touchline and, and, and everything outside looks easy. But when you're out there, you know, you're facing a world-class team in a, in a venue where, you know, they don't give up too many things. Um, you know, it, it's not... It's understandable in many respects, but... At the same time, as I said to them at half time, look, you know, whatever sort of, if there's any fallout or bad outcome, I'll take responsibility. I'm the one that's putting them out there, but let's at least go out there and, you know, and, and show a little bit more conviction about the kind of football team we want to be. And I thought they did that in the second half, you know, and you're never going to totally dominate a game of football here, but in the second, second half, the second half, I thought we, you know, we were, we were very much in the game, like I said, against a very, very good football side. Over the years, when you you've kind of criticised character of Tottenham Hotspur as a club, you've lost three. I mean, you have lost three games in a row. But there's two leaders in the place had to go down, and they went down twice. They have the character to come back. That would say a lot about them. Yeah, look. I, to be fair to this group, I think they've shown that from the first game. I think the last three games has masked that a little bit, and I don't think it's been a question of character. It's been you know, more a question of just sort of lacking a bit of conviction in, in, in you know, because certainly, you know, whether that was the Chelsea game or Wolves away or Villa at home, we, you know, that we, were well, we were well on top in those games, uh, particularly, you know, the Villa and Chelsea games. So the quality of football, we just lacked a bit of conviction. But, <coughs> you know, we're going through a tough period, um, absolutely, in terms of, you know, the personnel, um, players playing in positions they're not familiar with. And at the same time, me not wanting them to compromise on the kind of team we want to be so it's not easy but I always feel that through these tough periods you know if you can get through them in the manner which I think you need to and that is like I said staying true to what you started you know, trying to work on and, and, and sort of the team you want to become come out of it stronger irrespective of sort of whatever knocks you get along the way and I guess a day like today if nothing else gives the players a little bit more belief in them, in themselves as people more than players that you know what they do have that character and belief that even in the toughest of circumstances to, to not lay down and you had you had what looked like a quite a nice exchange at the end with with pep on the touchline can, can you say what was said were you just reflecting on a very uh, just, game? yeah just you know i mean you know we we promised goals we we delivered, so it was entertaining. He's got a fantastic team. He's had a fantastic team for such a long time there. You know, obviously want to beat them, mate. You know, but you can appreciate just what a fantastic football team they are, you know. So, and, um, you know, he, <coughs> I guess from, from his behalf, he, he's always been, not just publicly, but privately, you know, um, always 
sort of been very complimentary about me and my work, not not directly to me, but I've found out from other sources, which uh, you know, coming from someone like him, um, I have great respect for. And um, your performances against the top teams in the Premier League, or the teams that you expect in the top teams in the Premier League, have been really impressive this season. Does that, more than anything else, show to you, or maybe give the confidence to Tottenham fans that this is a proper challenge to be at the top of the table? Well, yeah, I mean, I think they're always the measure, but I think more important than that is, like I said, how you deal with the inevitable challenges and, and, and tough times, because every team will go through them. Now, we've gone through a fairly extreme, and, and we're still going to go through it. I mean, we'll get Romero back this week, which will be great for us. You know, we've obviously missed him <coughs> um, in, in the back four. Um, you know, Richie got some game time, and then hopefully... SR <coughs> by the end of the week will be hopefully available, but the rest of them won't be back till sort of the new year. So we're going through a tough time, and I think how you deal with tough times is just as important. I really do, you know, and that's why I've been really strong on us, you know, not wavering from playing the football that we want to play. We've, we have fallen short at times, which, you know, considering the personnel out is understandable, but if we can get through this period and you know, still be in a, in a, in a, in a decent position table-wise that when we do get the players back and, you know, we get a bit of momentum, which I think I'm, I'm confident will happen. You know, I don't think, unless it's just going to be one of these extraordinary years where we've consistently kind of got this kind of attrition rate in our squad, um, you know, we, we, can, we can battle with the best. Hi, um, Tottenham is obviously unhappy at the end with the decision of the referee to seem to say play on now. You understand Pep's anger if I got away with this? Um, yeah, I guess so, mate. <laughs> okay, we'll leave That's it there. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>